Hi everybody, I want to teach you how to do SOLIDWORKS test and get actually this certificate. Uh, the first thing that you have to do is to download the PDF uh, sample example from SOLIDWORKS website. And it's free to download and you can download and practice the same part I'm doing now. So we will go to SOLIDWORKS and before going to SOLIDWORKS we have to look at the question and we will see that what what is the unit system and as you can see it is MMGS so now we go back here control N of a new part then we, we go and choose the MMGS template that I made before it's always better to make the template before so that here the, the uh, measurement units would be in MMGS the, the very important thing that would help you to do things faster is is to go to options and then go to sketch and tick this box LM on screen numerical input on entity creation so and automatic and tick this back box also so it will help you to dimension while you are sketching uh, it's very similar to I think AutoCAD by default it's not ticked and it's quite a new feature I think no it's not a new feature but it's not ticked by default so we go back to the question and we see that this is the part it has three views here let me see there is any other video uh, this is not this is the second question so it has got three views and it's not that complicated it's all you have to do on one sketch and we choose the front front plane for doing our sketch so I press right click and then I move left so that's how it also can help you to save time uh, it really doesn't matter from where you start drawing your uh, sketch I start from anywhere you can start from anywhere uh, so I will choose just some part some place and let's say here this much and then there is an arc arc is 29 millimeters it doesn't really matter now where it is uh, you can go ahead on here and then you know there is a something like this then you you bring it up and then make approximately 45 later on you can dimension I think this part this numerical input is not that useful but in many other parts it would be very useful so you will go like this there is another arc it's a bit more above that so you come here and then there will be again something like this then something like this and come down and close your sketch so now what I do is right click and move the mouse up so that you can dimension as quickly as possible so first doesn't matter from where you start you, you just have to start <laughs> so first whatever I see I do here is 29 then here is 24 what happened? it's becoming slow <laughs> so here to here how much it was? 24 24 and then uh, what was this is the B B is 57 57 and then this part 32 okay now we have to reshape it and see how it will be okay and then 
this lighting radius and then this is 19 as well from here so it would become better I think will look more similar don't worry it doesn't look very similar now to that but it would become don't worry so 19 then 45 45 so it's 45 here also 45 okay it's already there so you, you can say let it be there and then we see that these these two are tangent or the and this angle is 10 go up we choose this from here choose this and then 10 degree the, the when the blue lines become black so you're you're progressing towards your goal uh, it it means that it's getting fully defined and once you get fully defined you'll be sure your sketch is right so the next thing is i think a to find out how much is a a is 81 millimeters go back up again choose this choose this this side 81 i think yes 81 now you have to i think you have to move this back yeah this back bring this down move this here oh no move, move this down and move this up and move this back so you see you need to understand how it looks like and then you you will be able to do all that and now okay it it, it has got some don't let it technically can stay here this come here more clear what I don't understand why it's moving uh, vertical to this there is no indication of the, the relation anyways I think I would put some more dimension and then I will figure it out so 29 from here to where to here come on it's not 7 it is 29 okay again things moved I have to move this back move this here Move this here, move this also back again. Move here. This is perpendicular to this. And this uh, also 45. Okay, it's a driver, no problem. And then from up here to the bottom is 19 I put then 32 then 7 whatever you see you just do you know you, you should not spend too much time in thinking because afterwards you can fix whatever whatever it is so here is 5 See those two are seven and this is five. So you have to be careful. It's almost becoming fully constrained, it's becoming very similar to what we got. So it's twenty-nine and okay. Fourteen nineteen forty five. Now you can try to move and see what's moving. So here it's moving. So we need a to see how we can constrain that. And as we can see, it's 14. 14 from here to here. And all became fully black. And now 
I'm wondering why why this is moving all together. This is maybe not tangent. No, it should be tangent. This is perpendicular. Oh, now it's becoming okay. Oh, it's becoming okay. So it should be on on this. You know, it's uh, it's on this. Then here, so this I got on that. Uh, what else? 29. Why? What's moving? Let's see what's moving. So it's on this. So the height of this, which is here at 19. So we put this like in. We go up. And we say 19. So now it's fully defined. That means our part is correct. But there is a fillet here. But I will do that later. Now we see C, how, how, how deep it is. C is 43 millimeters. So we go back here. I put a shortcut key for extruding it. So that's th I put Q. So I press just Q and press 43, two, two enters, and it gets me the right part. It was 43. Yes. So oh, I forgot to make the hole. I could make it here, no problem. I make it here. So I just go sketch, then pull here. And then go here, then make a circle of 14, and again up. And how much is it? 14 from left, 14 from down. So 14 here. It's going crazy because I think I'm recording, that's why it's going slow. Again, 14 here. I made a shortcut for extrude cut, which I put D. You can put the shortcut as well. And then right click, then say true all, then right click again. It made you the hole. And then we have to go and check what is this material to steel AIS I1020 acrylic edit material. Oh, actually I'm deleting something, that's why also it's becoming very slow. I'm deleting a very big file. And I'm recording. So, CAI 1020, check always the density, okay, density is alright. Apply, then we check the mass. Mass is 938.11. Then, 939.11. 0.54 should be 938.54. So I'm getting 938. Okay, I told you you should be very careful not to forget the fillet. So there should be a fillet as I see here. This is you, you just click on it, then this comes up, then press on the fillet, and it's five, I think. Alright, yes, it was. So you press five, enter, and again enter. It makes you the fillet. Then again, check the mass. It is nine thirty nine point five four. How much is it here? Nine thirty nine point five four. So you got you got the right answer. This is how you do the part. Now we can go and start the second which I will do it in the next video. Thank you for watching.